Taking overnight now in Thompson, that's where crews are piecing together a fire that broke out on Quadic Town Farm Road. Our pinpoint news tracker shows you where that is just minutes from the Rhode Island border. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler is there staying on top of the breaking details. Tracy and Caitlin, it's a really devastating scene here, but we did learn from the fire chief that there are no injuries from this fire. Take a look at what we're seeing right now. You can see that this house has been completely burnt down to the ground. Nothing remains at this point. You can still see some smoke is billowing up from the ground. The only thing that we can see that remains here from this house fire is the front stairs to the home and that railing. You can also see that there's a brick fireplace to the right side of your screen. You can see that that is the only thing that we can still see standing here. If you take a look on the left side of your screen, you can see that there's a white car that has been really burnt down to a crisp. Just the bones of that car remain at this point. Now, firefighters are still present. They are still on this scene here. You can see that the fire is completely out, but they are uh, investigating this morning to try to determine the cause of this fire. Take a walk with me to the uh, other side of what we're seeing right here. You can see there's a lot of emergency crews with us right here. There's a fire truck blocking off the entrance to the home. That is uh, the the sidewalk area and also getting towards the home. You can see there's caution tape just uh, blocking off this entire area. There's Connecticut State Police here as well. So this is a really big investigation that crews are taking on here. Once again, I do want to reiterate for you at home that the fire chief has confirmed to us there are no injuries at at this point, of course, when we have another update for you and we speak more to the fire chief, we'll bring you an update here. We're live in Thompson, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.